Hello everybody, this is Sir Jinx, we'll talk to you from my laptop and we're going to introduce you to part 2 of placing in more than one model in the same model viewer. So first, of course, this planet is still there, so let's clear that. We're going to head right to preferences. We're going to increase this so I can see the whole thing. There we go. And we're going to open up the last, so the last solar trauma model that we did on our last episode. Um, episode, uh, say tutorial. But yeah. So there's Solotron. Right there, happy as can be. Now I'm going to open up another model. I uh, since I already teach you how to make models and how to save it and how to open it, now all you have to do is make another one and repeat the process and stuff. I already have tons of other models right here. Welcome to my gallery of spiral, new spiral night people that you get to see your models. So, Let's pick up. Let's pick one at random. Da 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 da, da. and I say, if you see the FG done. Okay, so we're going with Outlaw Gamer. All right, and he's in the same location as me. So if you want to move him, you see on the bottom of his model, transform. This is where you get to place him or. Put him anywhere I'm on the model viewer. So if I want him um, at least right next to me, I would set this up to one. Or you could just move it by dragging it like this. Move it to the side. This is for the x axis. This is for the y axis. And this is for up and down. So it's a pretty useful tool when I use my animation. I'm just going to set this back. To the same. I like to set it even, like at 1 or 0.5. Oh, and there's also the rotation. This will rotate the knife front to back. Um, side to side. And this one, it'll make him turn in the direction. Or her. I never be able to. Oh, yeah. One more cool thing. When I set a knight, I like to make it as if some if someone is a girl knight or a boy knight. What I like to do is I go to face texture, and then I change the eyes to instead of the I change it to almond, so I can make it into girl's eyes. It's just a little thing, the little things that I like to show for my knights, give them more personality. I know some knight, some guys like use girl costumes so I'm just letting you know just because you're a girl knight you're automatically a girl so I'm giving you those eyes just saying all right so you open up your new knights and now you have two at the same place if you want more you could uh, do the same thing go in your environmental models get the other new model let's pick one at random again Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, uh, no, 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 Astro. All right, so we have Astro here. He's right next to me. He's a bit too close. Let's move it to this side this time. All right, now we have three, and so on and so forth. You could put us. Um, you can't put. Oh, I keep, the reason I can't put all knights in once is because this program has a limit as to how many knights or sets of environmental models you could place in at once especially since some of them are animating at the same time then yeah you're gonna come across a cliffhanger where you can't put in any more stuff and that's my excuse as to why I can't fit anyone into my anime all at the same time or anytime I put everyone together I probably put at least 50 nights at most and yeah, um, there are limits here um, to this program. All right, so anyways, now I'm gonna teach you how to animate them all. Um, some of them won't 
animate more than once unless you loop it. But I'll teach you how to get how to get around that for my animations when I record. So right now I'm gonna make Astro Chavez do something, anything. Let's make him I don't know. Cross a bridge. I think I pushed it more than once, so I'll just click that out. Uh, let's make him. Let's make him dead, because that that is a loop animation. So you could you could um you could leave him like that for uh, as long as you want. So I'm gonna move him to the to the bland or empty environmental model and this animation is dead. Sorry, Astro, you're dead. Now, I always keep it minimized. Remember that? You keep it minimized in order for the animation to stay there. And to make the next anim next night animate, you do the same thing. Go to edit. You make her do something else. Let's make her, uh, this one's a loop, so that'll be okay. Inventory loop. Now I transfer her over to the bland environmental model. And now he's, she's doing her thing, you know, checking her crowns and costumes and stuff. Me, what I'm going to do is, I guess, I'll do something as well. I'll make him do, let's see, there's a sleeping, sleeping's a loop also. I guess I could show up that. Make him towards the elemental model, and now all the knights are animating at the same time, only because it's on loop. When I get to recording, I'll show you how to make it look like they're all animating fast, because you can't just record and then do this fast and do them all at once. Like you just go down here, make the blend go over the models and stuff like that, because that'll take a lot of work. Oh yeah, one more interesting thing: when I animate. There's something I should show you. I'm going to turn the speed down to 0.01. Just slow it down. When you animate, what you often see is when you make the knight go under the empty environment model. Oh wait, it doesn't work for him. I guess I have to change it. If you want to change it, just go to his uh, Astro Travis. That's the one. I'm going to change his animation to something Ooh, something non-loop, so I can show you something. Uh, let's make him, make him, make him, make him. Let's make him talk. This is where it's most common. So you make him talk. Right here. Okay, let me see if I can do this quick so I can freeze it. Alright, you see that right there? Before he talked, he pushed up his hands. I can show it again. Like that. He goes into a stage where a knight is about to do a new animation that is non-loop. The idle is a loop, so you don't see that every time you use that animation. But whenever you do something like talk or um, shout, you're going to see this ticking where the knight just stands like that when you first record. And then once he's done with that process, then he'll go to the animation. He'll start talking. So that's an interesting thing when you're recording. You're going to see that pop up a lot. I tend to ignore it most of the time because people don't mind. But whenever I had the chance, I cut off that part and then just make him do the animation itself. That's interesting to note. Oh yeah, if you want to keep him talking, just go like this. You drag him over to the bland environmental model again. Again, he'll do the same animation as long as the window that you set the animation on is minimized and not closed. So, I think that co that'll cover up for animating and placing multiple models at the same time. Um, this has been Jujixpo and I'll see you in my next tutorial. All right? Man, this is going to be a while. <laughs> see ya.